By default, WordPress allows us to display uh, images using only three sizes, which would be the thumbnail, medium and large size. And even though WordPress does allow us to set custom sizes for our images, what if we didn't want to always have to set this change manually, but simply use a custom size that we've predefined already? Coming up, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create your very own custom WordPress image sizes. Well, alrighty, hello, welcome to the Web Monkey, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, like I said in the preview, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom image sizes in today's video. And in order for you to accomplish this task, you're going to need uh, three things. And the very first thing you're going to need is a child theme. We are going to be working with a child theme. It is essential that you do have a child theme up and running on your site. If you don't know what a child theme is, please check the link in the description box below. I do have a full extensive tutorial explaining child themes and how you can get one for yourself. And just to prove this to you, if I go over to the back end of my site here and I go to appearance, go to themes, uh, you can see right now that the active theme is the 20 minutes child theme and not the actual uh, 20 minutes parent theme. So it's important that you're working with your child theme. Second, you're going to need would be an FTP account and also a text editor of some sorts. I'm going to be working with the Notepad++ text editor. Again, if you don't know what FTP account is or what a text editor is or how uh, you can work with Notepad++, check the links in the description box below. I do have tutorials that will show you how you can create an FTP account and also how you can work with Notepad++. And last but not least, you're going to need a plugin known as the Regenerate Thumbnails plugin. It is by Alex Mills, Viper007 Bond. Obviously a James Bond fan right here. So please go ahead, download, install, and activate this plugin. I will show you exactly what this plugin does later on in the video. But moving on right now, I'm going to assume that you have all this in place. So uh, let's jump right in. But before we get started, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online education platform where you can get unlimited access to more than 27,000 classes from technology to design, from photography to web development. And yes, you can actually get all my WordPress courses on Skillshare. And the best news here is you can gain two months free access. That's right, for two whole months, you can gain free unlimited access to 27,000 classes on Skillshare. All you have to do is to enroll using the link in the description box below. But please note that this offer is only available to the first 100 students. So if you're interested in learning for free, sign up today. The first thing we need to do would be to create the actual image sizes themselves. So we're going to create two of them. And to do this, we're going to make use of the function, which is the add underscore image underscore size function. And these are the parameters that this particular function accepts. Don't worry if this looks complicated. If you don't know how to program in PHP, I will show you exactly how to do this. I'm going to go straight to my notepad plus plus file editor. I'm going to connect to my FTP account and I'm just going to go ahead now and go straight to blogger video buff, which is the directory for my website. So from here right now, I'm going to look for the WP dash content folder, which contains uh, the themes. So from here, I'm going to open up the themes folder and then I'm going to open up the child theme folder. And then finally, I'm going to open up the functions.php file for my child theme. So let's open that. Okay, great. So from here right now, I'm going to go to a new line and I'll add a comment and just say uh, custom image sizes. Let's close the comment and let's go ahead now and add the very first image size. I'm going to say add underscore image underscore size. And then in brackets, I'm going to add my quotes and I'm going to give the name for this custom image size. I'm going to say blog uh, dash post. OK, so this is going to be the name of our very first custom image size. And then after this, I'm going to add a comma. And now I'm going to add the dimensions, the width and the height of this particular image. So in this case right now, I'm going to go with, let's say, 650 by 300. Okay. 
I can then close this and say semicolon. So I've added the very first image size, which is 650 by 300. Okay. But take a look at this. I'm going to add another one, add underscore image underscore size. And then I'll add another name. Let's go with blog dash post dash hard. Okay. And then for the dimensions, let's go ahead and add, make this 700 by 450. But guess what? I'm going to add another value and this value will be called true. Wow. 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 Okay. So what exactly have I done here? You see by putting true here, what I'm saying here is I want WordPress to always hard crop any image that has a custom image size of blog post hard. So in the very first image size here, we didn't specify anything. We just gave the dimensions and then the name of the custom image size. The default value here after 300 will be false. False simply means that we want WordPress to soft crop the image instead. But when we want WordPress to hard crop the image, we have to write true. Meaning, yes, we want WordPress to always hard crop our image. If you don't know the difference between soft copying and hard copying, soft copying simply means that WordPress will do its best to display all of the image using the dimensions that you've set in here, which would be 650 by 300. However, the image itself may not always be 650 by 300. It will be around the range of the 650, 300, right? However, with a hard crop, WordPress will always make sure that your image is displayed using the exact dimensions that you have set, which in this case would be 700 by 450. What happens here is that even if WordPress has to cut part of the image to satisfy this requirement, WordPress will do so. So that's the major difference between hard cropping and soft cropping. Soft cropping is great when you don't really care about the dimensions of the image. So say for example, when you're inserting an image into a blog post, you may not really care about the exact size. However, if you're setting the featured image for your post, that's a different story. You might care more about the exact size. So in that case, you might want to use a hard crop instead. So that's the major difference between soft cropping and hard cropping. But we're not done. From here right now, rather than just saying true, I could remove true instead and then add another array. So I'm going to say array. And then inside of this array, another bracket. And now in here, instead of this bracket, we can specify the direction we want WordPress to crop our images from. So this takes in another two values. The first value will be for your X dimension, which would be left, center or right. And then the second value will be for your Y axis, which would be vertical, which would be top, center or bottom. So you could go with something like this add another code and say left. Okay. And then a comma and then another code and then say bottom. Okay. What this means right now is that WordPress will always hard crop our images, but from a left bottom position. Again, the first value here would be your X axis, which can be left center or right. The second here will be for your Y axis, which can be top center or bottom. If you don't go with any of these values and just simply say are true, like I did originally, WordPress will crop the image from the center center position in this kind of uh, situation. The next step now would be to get WordPress to display the custom image sizes and the back end. Now to do this, I'm going to add some more text. I'm just go ahead and say uh, display custom. Uh, image sizes. Let's close this. Now for the actual code itself, I do have the code written out on my notepad file here. I'm just go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go ahead now and paste that. So don't worry. I'm going to explain exactly what I have done in here. Uh, basically we have this function, which is the add filter. This is basically us telling WordPress to display the names of our custom image sizes in the back end. So you can pause the video right now and simply write exactly what I have written in here. However, I would recommend you make some small changes. First of all, over here where you have the blogger, 
uh, underscore custom underscore image underscore sizes uh, you can change blogger to the name of your own blog or the name of your own website okay however make sure that whatever you change in here matches exactly what you have in here where you have the function so as an example if you're going to change blogger to a uh, website as an example make sure in your second line where you have function change blogger to website as well and then you have your custom uh, underscore image underscore sizes okay and then second in here after you, where you have the array this is where you have the names of your custom image sizes so you can see i have blog post i have blog post hard so make sure the text you have in here matches the names of your custom image sizes and then where you have standard and cropped these are the names i have assigned to my respective image sizes so feel free to use your own uh, custom names here so hopefully you've done you're done copying all this text i'm going to go ahead now and simply uh, save my changes and it's saving and it is saved awesome so from here right now i'm going to go to the back end of my site from here let's go to posts and let's just go ahead and edit the very first one right here let's edit it with the classic editor and then from here i'm going to scroll all the way down here and let's take a look at this image let's go ahead and edit the image and now from here uh oh you can see that we do not have the custom image sizes listed you cannot see cropped you cannot see standard why is this happening you see even though we've just added the new custom image sizes this image and other images images were uploaded before we created the new image sizes so wordpress right now as it is has no way of creating a new version for our image that will match the standard or the cropped custom image sizes that we've created the only way to do this right now would be to make use of the regenerate thumbnails plugin which we have already installed so what this plugin is going to do is that it's going to create new versions of all our images so to do this let's go to our back end again let's come down here to tools i'm going to click on regenerate thumbnails let's go ahead and leave and then from here, I'm going to go ahead now and regenerate thumbnails for all 15 attachments. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to take a few seconds. But basically right now, WordPress is creating new versions for our images. So let's wait a few more seconds. It should be done any moment now. And it is done. Awesome. Now let's go back to our meet, uh, posts rather. Let's go to all posts, go back to the very first one right here, edit with the classic editor. And now let's go back to our image, edit, go to size. And you can see that the custom image sizes are still not there. Why? Don't panic. The reason why this is happening is because the full size for this image is only 320 by 213 pixels. However, our custom image sizes are significantly larger. We have 650 by 300, 700 by 450. So this image right now is too small to satisfy the new image sizes that we've created. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go ahead now and add a new image instead. So let's go ahead and add the media. I'm going to choose a large image. So in this case right now, let's go with the acquired place uh, image. Now, over here, where we have the size, take a look at that. We now have standard, we now have cropped, and these two are available because the full size of this image is 1280 by 720. So for me right now, we can just simply choose whichever version we want. Let's go with the cropped version. Let's go ahead and set into the post. Let's go ahead now and update. And now let's go ahead and view our post. Let's scroll down and there you go, 750 by 400. So that's exactly how to create your own custom image sizes and how to display them in the back end. A very quick tip for you, uh, whenever you're creating custom image sizes, uh, make sure whatever images you upload are large enough to satisfy the dimensions that you've set for your custom image sizes. 
And then secondly, uh, do not go gong ho with your custom image size. What I mean here is moving forward, whenever you add a new image to your media library, WordPress, in addition to creating the thumbnail, medium and large versions of the image, it will also create new versions of the image to satisfy the custom image sizes that you've created. So if you came in here right now and you created, let's say five new custom image sizes, whenever you upload a new image to WordPress, you will essentially get eight versions of that same image by default. Three for the thumbnail, medium and large, and then the remaining five for the five custom image sizes that you've set. Keep in mind that every image takes up space on your web server. So you really want to restrict the number of custom image sizes you create. You don't want to go beyond two, let's say three max, okay? Do not just begin to create custom image sizes for the sake of it because this will essentially take up more space on your web server. As a bonus, if you wanted to use your newly created custom image size to affect, let's say the featured image size of your posts, the first thing you need to do is to figure out what template controls the display of your single post pages. In this case, for me right now, it is the content-single.php file. And over here, you can see this is the block that controls the display of my featured image for my post. And now in here is the actual function itself, the underscore post underscore thumbnail. This is the function that outputs the featured image of my post. So to use my newly created custom image size, I'll just have to add the name inside of the brackets in here. So in this case, this could either be blog post or blog dash post dash hard. I'll just add it inside of the quotes in here, save my template and that's it. I have applied my custom image size to control the size of the featured image of my post. So that is it for creating custom image sizes. If you had any questions about this, feel free to put them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure teaching you how to create custom image sizes with WordPress. And I hope to see you next time and bye-bye.